Yes. When I was born, and I'm much older than you, yes. I used to read or hear politicians and leaders and rulers talk about uh, how Africa consumes what it does not produce and produces what it does not consume. How can we come about with a paradigm shift that is for the benefit of the vast majority of African people? We have the resources. We are certainly not a poor continent, but our people are the poorest. Yeah, that is a very good question. I think we need to rethink our uh, ways of governance. As you said, Africa is very rich and we have all that it takes to be a developed country, but it's all about governance, it's all about leadership. Uh, a good example is Guinea, for instance. We are the first bauxite exporter for bauxite. We have the largest deposit of bauxite, but we end up exporting everything. So why do we do that? We need lead strong leadership that would turn those bauxite into aluminum, for instance. What can, why can't you add value? African leaders talk about adding value, but they talk the talk without walking that talk. Yeah, that's where we need strong leadership, because talking the talk without trying to walk the talk, it means nothing. We, they, we need to make sure that, you know, it's, all, it's not only about policies or about, you know, paperwork, we need to, to, to make sure that entrepreneurs in Africa, they are dragged into, uh, how do you call it, manufacturing. Uh, Guinea is a rich country, but every uh, trade movement is based on export, export. So the government should be able to come out with policies that, 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 that would drag some of those uh, national entrepreneurs to go into uh, manufacturing, because I believe that's where our economy will be much stronger, rather than just buying and selling. Well, that is your challenge when you think about it in terms of the changing demographics. In tandem with social media, I think you can really make miracles.